James Gray. Uh, I, rise, uh, I rise very briefly, Mr. Deputy Speaker, both because there are a large number of people trying to catch your eye uh, this evening, but also because I suspect that a great many of them, including the Honourable Gentleman Member for the Vale of Cluid, uh, are actually trying to say very much the same kind of things and are broadly in agreement uh, with the excellent Mary Porter's report, which I won't refer to further, but which I broadly support most of the 28 uh, proposals she makes at the end of her, uh, the end of her report. Now, Mr. Deputy Speaker, honourable members who have an idle moment or two may find it amusing to look into my first-class website, not done by me but done by others, jamesgrade.org, where they will, gen- <laughs> where they will find, amongst other things, very wickedly, uh, my a video clip of my maiden speech, where they'll see a fresh-faced, dark-haired, slender, keen young fellow speaking from these very benches some 15 years ago. This is what happens to you if you represent North Wiltshire for 15 years. And in that speech, Mr. Deputy Speaker, I went some lengths uh, to address some of the issues that we're talking about this very afternoon, namely the fact that my constituents of North Wiltshire has a number of small market towns surrounded by beautiful rural countryside, and I talked in my maiden speech about the way in which we can seek to prevent that uh, being built upon. Now, that both shows that nothing changes, Mr. Deputy Speaker, but it also shows, I hope, that I've done a reasonable job in living up to that uh, promise and by preventing the developers from building all over my beautiful constituency. And if you look uh, at my constituency, it really is a case study, and Mary Porters and others might want to use it as a case study or indeed one of her pilot studies, because we have a variety of market towns, some of which are more flourishing in their high streets than others. Uh, most uh, famous, of course, internationally at the moment, is the high street in Royal Wooden Bassett. Now, in Royal Wooden Bassett, we have a superb community spirit. Why do we have that? We have that because it's a flourishing, vibrant high street. And we have it because there is no out-of-town shopping in Wooden Bassett. There's a very good Sainsbury's. It's 100 yards away from the town hall where we all stood in silent remembrance of our passing fallen soldiers until very recently. Equally, in the town of Calne, we have a first-class supermarket right in the town centre. In Malmesbury, so far, we have no out-of-town shopping. I'll come back to Malmesbury in one second. Uh, but, of course, if one looks at my honourable friend sitting on the front bench there, he'll be speaking, I hope, perhaps in a moment or two. If we look at the neighbouring town of Chippenham, just outside my constituency, you can see a very large number of out-of-town shopping centres. And I'm afraid that Chippenham High Street is not as vibrant and great a place as it once was. And I expect my honourable friend will be seeking to explain why that should be. This, of course, is not just about shopping. It's also about housing. And uh, Chippenham, of course, at the moment is looking to expand by some four or 5,000 houses. The people in, in Trowbridge and Wiltshire Council headquarters this very afternoon are considering the strategic way forward in areas like the Birds Marsh uh, estate just outside my honourable friend's constituency, in, in my own constituency. And uh, I very much hope that they will listen to local people, some six or 700 of which said they wanted no further expansion of the town of Chippenham into my constituency. The same applies. Uh, elsewhere. We have to keep our high streets vibrant by preventing developers from spreading out uh, into the countryside. Now that brings me finally, Mr Deputy Speaker, to a very interesting uh, case in point named the town of Malmesbury. At this very moment there are two applications in place, one from Waitrose and one from Sainsbury's, to build out-of-town shopping centres outside Malmesbury. They claim that would provide uh, X hundred new jobs. Of course they might do, but they are jobs that currently exist anyhow. They claim that under Section 106 agreements that Malmesbury would benefit because there would be buses in from the Sainsbury's car park in the town centre. There would be a staircase up from the Waitrose one up the town centre. There would be all sorts of benefits to people of Malmesbury. Aren't they lucky to have us in Sainsbury's and Waitrose coming to build in our town? No, Mr Speaker, the answer is we are not lucky at all. <laughs> Waitrose and Sainsbury's are going there for one reason, one reason only, and that is to make a profit for their shareholders out of selling groceries to passing trade. It is of no benefit of any kind whatsoever to the town of Malmesbury, and I very much hope that the local authority, when they are considering this matter, will turn down both applications for Waitrose and Sainsbury's. Malmesbury has a vibrant high street at the moment, a superb high street with a great community in it, not dissimilar to the one in neighbouring Laurel Wooden Bassett. If we allow there to be either two new uh, uh, supermarkets built on the outskirts of the town or indeed housing built, which is also being threatened around the outskirts of Malmesbury, we will land up with urban sprawl of the worst possible kind and we will land up with a currently vibrant high street being reduced in its vibrancy and being returned to one or two other, sim- similarity to one or two other towns in our area. I appeal to the planners who are sitting in Trobridge this very afternoon to consider these very matters to realise that if you allow developers to build on greenfield sites, that is precisely what they will do. They want to build on greenfield sites. Only by preventing them from doing so will you force the developers to build in our town centres. Will you force them to redevelop brownfield sites? Will you force them to redevelop and, and uh, add vibrancy to our town centres?